Today I will review Carbon A101 which was released in the third quarter of 2014. This review is based on the usage experience for past 6 months. This phone is now available for 4000 to 4500 bucks in any retail stores in India. You can also order it online from eBay or Flipkart. When it comes to specifications, this phone possesses 1.3 GHz dual core processor, 512 MB RAM, 4 inch WVG, VGA capacitive touchscreen display, dual SIM card, 5 megapixel rear camera with flash, digital front camera, and it also has 3G, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and FM radio inbuilt and 1500 mAh battery pretty decent specification for 4500 bucks definitely so let's see uh, with all the specification how does the phone really perform in the retail package it comes up with um, an OEM charger with USB 3 USB 2 connector and a headphone Headphones are not that really great, I have not experienced much uh, effects, sound effects in this headset so I don't use it, uh, usually use them because these are not of very good quality however yes, it, uh, we cannot expect much for such a budget phone and the headsets have inbuilt uh, button for receiving and disconnecting the calls I'll keep them aside Along with the normal package, it also comes up with one beautiful flip case which fits on the battery door so you don't have to add much bulk to your phone. And here is the phone itself. I have already put the battery on and uh, let's see how it looks. As you can see, the build quality of the phone is really good. So if you are paying 4000 bucks, it's really worth it. It looks beautiful. On the right hand side, it has volume rockers up and down. And it has power key at the top. And audio jack 3.5 mm. On the left side, there is nothing much. And at the bottom, you have noise cancellation thing. And uh, we have USB 2 port here. That's about the hardware side of the phone. Now let's see how does the software perform with 1.5 GHz dual core processor and uh, it is not up to that satisfactory level but still uh, it, is good. it is not that bad either. So this is the app drawer. If you keep swapping it will go to widgets page continuously and you cannot swap anymore here. And there are some pre-installed useful apps already on the mobile when you take it out of the box we have emails and some inbuilt games like modern combat we have maps K Live, candy crush and we have facebook so many of the apps are pre-installed and one more app that is specific to carbon is carbon e bazaar if you go to eBazaar, you can find how many smartphones are released and if there are any uh, you know, upcoming releases etc. It's about the Carbon eBazaar. Let's see some of the pre-installed applications and basic functionalities. As it's gonna be a quick review, I will not go too in depth. So next we will see how does the contact app work. In contacts have very basic one I mean you can just add the contacts you can delete them and then modify them and you have favorites you can make the groups etc same thing with the messaging app very basic one you can compose the new emails and as you can see here uh, the keyboard is quite small and we tend to mistype when we are typing something let's see sweet yeah, no. 
on this page so it, it is quite difficult but still manageable if you are used to smaller phones then probably yeah you can uh, deal with it that's about the messaging app and uh, let's see the browser browser is quite snappy I am uh, really impressed with this even though it's a budget phone it, it does compete with many of the better phones like LG etc so browser has basic functionalities and uh, it also searches from uh, the address bar itself just like all the Android phones however it's quite snappy and then as you can see the rendering is quite fast not laggy let's search for something of my YouTube page I don't know why that pop-up is coming all the time probably because the time is not correct as you see the time is set to January 1st now which is not true Let's see how does YouTube look like. It's still playing in the browser. We will see your YouTube in a while. Speakers are also quite good. Very loud and clear. And about YouTube, let's see how does the YouTube look like in this phone. As you can see, there is a lag in the performance in your normal operation. It's not too fast either. Check my network connection. It is still loading. I don't know why is it taking such a long time. Yeah, it's finally up. So let's see, we have some suggestions for the videos. As you can see throughout the operation there is some lag, there is definitely some lag. So despite of having 1.3 GHz quad core processor it still lags. Stop it here. Please watch that video whenever you get time. So let's exit out of YouTube. Let's see how's the inbuilt video player. Video player is really good. I, I will give it that because I have played many videos. It plays most of the formats without any lag, without any issues. I'm saying it once again, the speakers are really good, they are very loud and clear, you know I've not even seen such quality in some of the high budget phones like Note series etc, so these speakers are better than that. And we have the inbuilt music player. So it's a very basic music player just like other Android phones. It has no extended functionalities as such. You have uh, artists, albums and playlists. However, there is no folder based uh, grouping of the songs. So it's very basic indeed. 
and notification panel yes when you pull down the notification panel you see all the notifications here you can clear all the notifications at once but there is one more catch in this if you pull the notification panel from one finger you will not see anything else apart from your notifications however if you pull it from two fingers you have many hidden features here you have, you have audio profiles you can decrease increase the timeout for your screen and you can turn off your Wi-Fi, turn it back on, Bluetooth. Many useful functionalities indeed. Then we will see the settings quickly. We have the audio profiles and display. Under display, you have something called themes. It will not change any of the background pictures or screen savers. It will only give the color scheme for the entire uh, display. So right now I have selected Mocha, let's select Mint. As you can see some of the changes in the display layout. Battery backup is really average, not up to the mark, however it is manageable due to its QVGA even though it's only, uh, it's a very less capacitive battery of 1500 mAh still it will run for uh, almost a day due to its less battery consuming screen because the screen uh, requires very less power that's about it guys uh, I will end the review here as it was a quick review I cannot cover all the features however this is definitely a worth considering phone so if you are looking for a budget phone for 4000 to 500 bucks, you can definitely go for it. Some of the good features are it's a budget, budget phone with the decent specifications. Camera is really good. So for 5 megapixel it captures pretty good images. And it has an inbuilt flash too. And the speakers are very loud and clear. And then the most, the best thing I like about this phone is the handset build quality. It really feels premium. I don't know. I've not even felt like this in many of the better smartphones like Samsung, etc. But this feel is really good. So these are some of the good parts about the phone. And some low lights or battery backup is average. It will run off in one day. Though we compromise with the screen, QVGA is still. Uh, it does not last very long and the only thing I mainly hate about this phone is the performance and lag it has a lot of lag not in normal operations however when you are playing games or videos in YouTube etc you will feel <coughs> certain lag thank you